All right, without further ado, let's do the story. Oh, nice. Milk and Sugar is still riding around on a motorcycle around the casino. Part two of the bunny girl arc. Sparkling bunny, Wonderland bunny. Every time they have screens like this, they, they go so hard with it. It's so good. As I wake up to my third morning at Coin Rush, I feel the warm sunlight on my face, the soft bed under my body, and a gentle clang. A clanging. Clanging? With some apprehension, I open my eyes. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Alice is lying beside me sound asleep. There is a smile on her face as if she's dreaming of something very pleasant. I can clearly hear the sound of something breaking. I get up and look around. And in no time at all, find the culprit behind the mysterious noise. Soda, are you okay? Uh, huh? Oh, morning, master. Morning. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Yeah. I was just doing some cleaning. I tried to be as quiet as possible, but I accidentally broke a glass. Oh my gosh, girl. You didn't cut yourself, did you? <laughs> I have to act concerned, even though I'm a human and they are a Nike and are superhuman, and I feel like that wouldn't bother them. No, I'm fine. It's probably best you keep your distance, though. Just to be safe. I'll have this cleaned up in no time. Oh. Soda quickly begins to sweep up the glass shards on the on the floor. <sighs> Nothing like a good night's sleep. Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning, Alice. Did you sleep well? Fantastic. In fact, I had a dream that our team came in first place. Uh, that does sound like a nice dream. Totally. It made me so happy. <laughs> Let's do everything we can to make it come true. Yeah. You got it! Let's do it! You should join in too, Green Bunny! <sighs> oh, right. Sorry, just a moment. I'm almost done cleaning. Whoops! Oh my gosh, that sounded like broken furniture. Oh no. Another mishap. Sorry, let me clean this up real quick. Oh man, Soda has lost her groove. Here. Uh, uh, this is me just waiting and witnessing. It's a somewhat chaotic and inosperous start for the day. Oh, it's time for another mini game. After having breakfast, we head to the stage to check out the tournament bracket. Let's see. The teams we're facing today is... An, a rather odd pairing with Folk Wang as a leader and Exia Novel rounding out the team. We're going up against Slippery Bunny. <laughs> I didn't even realize she gave her a name. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Me too. I can't wait to see her. And how about me? Are you excited to see me? Maybe. <gasps> Golden Bunny! I like how she has this background music. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Rupee. How are you today? Did you do your due diligence and prepare properly? Yes. We don't even know what the game will be. How would we ever prepare for that? Nevertheless. Oh, okay, Ruby. Considering the nature of the past two games, it would be safe to assume that today's activity will be physical in nature. Ah, physical. The first one was running, the second involved hitting, and so the third one... Hmm. Ooh, do you know? Maybe it's something that requires agility? That actually sounds like solid reasoning. I thought so. <laughs> Is there anything you're hoping for in particular? I'm fine with anything. Something that we win. The first two games were a total blast. If I had a choice though, I'd prefer something that requires running. I am a rabbit after all, so I can run like the wind. <laughs> you don't say. What about you, Soda? <sighs> Uh-oh. Soda had a moment last time. Soda? Hello? Huh? Oh, sorry. 
I blanked out for a moment. Oh no. Get in the game, girl! <laughs> uh, I don't really mind what kind of game it is either. Really? So you enjoyed the other two games as well? Well... Not exactly. Anyway, I'm sure the next game will be something along the lines of the first two. You think so? Ah, she's such a Debbie Downer. Anyway, me and all the Lupins are going to be cheering you on. So you've got to win, okay? Is that the only reason you want us to win? <laughs> Was it that obvious? Fine. To be honest, I made a bet with Jan and Dala. Oh my god, they're gambling on us. They're betting 777 is going to win. But my money is on you guys. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Stakes are high. Oh well, I welcome I appreciate the faith in us. So you've got to bring it home. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm a stank. We're planning on starting this third game soon. If I could ask all the participants to come on up to this stage. Oh, it looks like it's about to start. Let's hurry over there. Okay. Soda and Alice hold hands and rush over to the stage. Hmm. hmm. No one's gonna hold my hand? Soda seems a bit despondent. <laughs> you don't say. Is she okay? I heard that she had some kind of confrontation with Milk yesterday. I'm not sure. I've never seen her like this before. Come on, dude! Weren't we there? Dude! Milk, like, drilled into her. It was kind of, uh, traumatic for her. <laughs> hmm. How about getting in touch with Aid and Coco? Even if she can't interact with them personally. Surely hearing Aid and Coco in the crowd cheering her on would make her feel better. Actually, that's a good call. I know that Aid and Coco said they had to man the... The made for you cafe but you would think that they would at least come by to like cheer them on like maybe at the end or at least for the final one like i i'm expecting aiden coco to show up later and cheer us on in the audience it's a solid suggestion but in light of soda's mental state right now i don't think it's a good idea for her to see either of those two. Ooh, yeah that's true no i don't think that's a good idea <laughs> huh why not why don't you let them watch your live stream? There you go. They'll watch from home. They would tell her that it's okay to stop here. Ah, uh, and Soda would take their advice? Yes, I want her to get through this on her own. Well, if that's what you think, then I guess there's not much we can do. I'm a bit worried, but as long as you're here, I think everything will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Leave it to me. Anyway, everyone seems to be gathering over there, so you should catch up to them. Rupee and I wave goodbye to each other as I head towards the stage. Now, time to start streaming and watch the show. Uh, Baby, um, excuse me. Now that everyone is here, allow me to introduce the third game. It's raining coins. It's raining coins. Raining coins? Huh? <laughs> Alice is. Huh? All of us warily glance up at the ceiling, but it's too dark to see anything. Jeez, this is some sophisticated setup they have in the casino to be able to change everything to match the games. Very soon, coins will fall from above. Your objective is to catch as many as possible and put them into your basket. However, be aware that in addition to coins, other items will be falling as well. To be precise, malls. Things that can easily break if mishandled. Ooh, like bombs. I'm talking about eggs, of course. <laughs> oh, no. This feels like it's a nightmare sequence for Soda right now. If at any point you accidentally more catch an egg in your basket, then your team will be eliminated. It kind of makes you step back and think about this tournament in general. Why would he set up such a weird array of weird mini games to pit his unit, Tetra line units, against each other for him to give them a big prize at the end? Like, what kind of sick enjoyment do you get out of this Mustang? At the same time, 
The number of coins you collect at this moment is your score! Any interference, intentionally with the opposing teams in any way, will result in immediate disqualification! Each team member must now grab a basket and head over to the designee area. We head over to the front of the stage to collect our baskets. Hi, Coach. Hi, Folkwang. Looks like our paths have finally crossed. <laughs> Looks like you're still soaked as ever. It would seem so. <sighs> if we win this, it's on to the semifinals for us, right? Yeah, <laughs> for us, not for you. Correct. Uh oh, novels despondent too. <sighs> you both seem rather sullen. That's because there hasn't been a single case. <laughs> okay, novel. Coin rush is managed by Mustang, so everything is in perfect order. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a good thing? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but as for me. I'm depressed because I wasn't able to take my supplements earlier. <laughs> the two really weird Nikes. Huh? Then what was it that you took earlier? Drugs. Weed. Supplements. What the? But you just said you were depressed because you couldn't take them. Well, to be precise, I was only able to take 19 pills when I should be taking 20. Girl! What is in those supplements? I bet you that shit is the reason why you're running at a high temperature and sweating all the time. Jeez Louise. I dropped one. I w that wouldn't have stopped me. The supplement disappeared. Could this be the case of the mysterious supplement that grew legs and walked off? This is why I don't have you. <laughs> I think it's going to be a while before they wind down. So, I'll just say that I'm looking forward to going up against you. Us too! Yeah, Exia, the one normal one, who's also an otaku. Good luck! Also... Soda? Yes? For today's match, just do the same thing you did yesterday. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Folkwang and Novel are trying super hard at this, but my heart really isn't in it. I've never been good with physical activities. Personally, I don't think it's all that bad to do some things half-heartedly. <laughs> Is she trying to sabotage them? After all, everyone has things they're good at, and things they're not good at, right? Ah. Uh, to be honest, when I was playing as a mole yesterday, I only stuck my head out of the hole once. I actually feel a strange sense of camaraderie with you. Oh, yo, yo. All right, okay. All right, Exia. This our girl. Mm, I, I'm sorry, but I really don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Exia is being kind of vague and she's saying that she feels camaraderie with her because she's what she's saying that she's doing it half-assed because I wasn't doing anything half-heartedly yesterday uh... oh? so does eyes begin to dart back and forth tem 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 tumultuously tumultuously I'm a bit flustered, so I go to approach her, but... All right. Oh Same shit, we're starting. Game time! May the first two teams who are going up against each other please step forward. I feel like we're gonna win because this team sucks. Axia's not trying hard. Folkwang is like sweaty. Oh wait, she's the athletic one. And I feel like Novel isn't gonna really help all that all that much too because she's a weirdo who who wants to like solve cases and shit. It's about to start. We better head to our starting position. All right. Huh? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> no, you didn't say anything wrong. You should probably head to your starting position as well. Hmm. All right. The game between Team Volume and Team Novel is over! Ooh, who won? 
The team that procured more coins is... Oh, wait, is this a flashback? Team volume! Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm just confused. <laughs> wait, so we're going up against uh, Prima Donna. Looks like Prima Donna is heading to the semifinals. If we win this, all we'll have to do is beat them. And then we'll be up against 777. Next up, we have Team Soda and Team Funkwing. Please step forward. I'm conf I, I confused the teams, my bad. Good luck, everyone. Let's have some fun. You too. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing... How does this work? Okay. The, the rate at which you can run is so slow. How does this work? I'm gonna miss a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm on, guys! <laughs> that was funny. Clang, clang. The game is quickly wrapping up. All the while, we fill our baskets to the brim of coins. Watch out for the eggs, Alice! Okay. Fortunately, our team has been able to avoid the eggs. <sighs> Unfortunately, Folk Wang's team has also managed to ad adroitly dodge all of them so far. To no one's surprise, Xy is on the hunt for the a areas out of view where she can lie down. <laughs> Their team is at a disadvantage because Exia isn't playing. We've got to push! All right. huh? Oh my gosh, Soda, get in the game! She's not playing? Why? Wait, is this happening while we're playing the game? While there's coins falling from the sky? Uh. Soda, there's an egg coming right for you! Soda looks up just in time to see the egg plummeting from above. An egg! I've got to avoid it, but... Oh my gosh! She's falling apart! I'm gonna have to push her. I frantically put down my basket and pull Soda over to me. Huh? Or I guess I pull her this time. <gasps> Clangs. Due to me yanking Soda over to me rapidly, the basket she was holding tips over. Oh no. Snap out of it! But... But my basket... If we lose, so be it. Even so, we've got to give it our all until the very end. Uh, I... Just then, bunk. Ow! <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I like how the boot bunny suits have this little flap almost to hint that it's about ready to peel off. Dang, Folk Bang, if only you took all your supplements. Ugh, it's so sticky. Beep. I'm afraid that's game over for Team Folk Wang. I wasn't sure if Folk Wang would have been a good choice for a bunny girl in this particular story arc, but now. Yeah. Solid choice. Can Team Soda last for the time that remains? This is our chance. Alice and I start grabbing coins like our lives depend on it. Soda approaches Folkwang. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm okay. Great Scott! This is a major case! The case of Folkwang's fall. I, Detective Novel, will uncover the truth behind what transpired. Well, at least Novel's enjoying herself. Meanwhile, Exia is just like lying down. Hmm. Let's see. I believe I've got it figured out. When Soda dropped her basket, it caused the coins that were inside to scatter everywhere. At that very same moment, Folkwing, who was attempting to avoid a falling egg, slipped on a coin and took a tumble. This caused her to be unable to avoid the plummeting egg and end up in the sorry state in which we see her now. Well, what do you think of my hypothesis? Uh, hold on. Don't tell me. I caused a mishap? Again? Don't pay her any mind, Soda. She's half right, but she's not completely on the mark. Really? 
<sighs> I'm sweating like a pig out here, and so my feet were fairly slippery. <laughs> your feet were slippery? You're wearing heels. Are you s <laughs> are you sweating through your heels? In my attempt to avoid the egg, my shoes, which were soaked in sweat, caused me to lose my balance and slip. Oh boy. It had nothing to do with your coins. <sighs> it's really sweltering in here. Damn. How much does she sweat? Goodness! Oh, I see. By the way, Coach and Alice are really busting their hunts out there catching coins. Should you be joining them? <gasps> oh my gosh! I forgot we're still in the middle of the game! How? Oh my gosh, she is so like... Her mind is just so far gone elsewhere. I gotta go! Keep in mind, we're doing this for her. <laughs> the match is over. Huff, that was tough. It sure was a lot of fun. <laughs> Even Mustang's starting to notice. I'm afraid we have a bit of a conundrum, folks. What we have here is a tie. What? But Folkwang got disqualified. <gasps> Hmm, I suppose we don't have much choice. In accordance with the regular set at the beginning, we will take a 30 minute break and then play again. Oh, okay. We will proceed with the rematch after 30 minutes. You know what? I do. I feel like they push volume as a, a cover girl for this game as well. Like you see her in a lot of, in a lot of the marketing material, but she she. Ain't. She's not to my taste. One, I think she, uh, I think she is a crappy character overall. But I also think her outfit's uh, a bit overkill. Now, don't get me wrong. I like, I like my Nikki's to look hot and to show skin. But this, I don't know. This is kind of weird. Kind of weirds me out. <sighs> that was a toughie. That's too bad about it being a tie. You're telling me. Then again, I'm happy that we get to do it again. Yeah. We could do better, hopefully. But at the same time, I thought if you get an egg on your head, you're disqualified immediately. It was super fun running around. We'll win the next round for sure. You bet we will. <sighs> I I feel like this this is the part where I need to pull Soda inside and talk to her and be like, yo, what is going on with you, girl? Come on, green bunny. Let's hear some words of encouragement from you as well. She is the leader. Been wondering, do you both think that I don't have my heart in this? Do you think that you have your heart in this? Hmm? What do you mean? Do you think you've been doing your best? I'm not so sure myself. And they play the sad music to go with it. Can I, can I, can you let me, the commander, just tell her, yes, you may not be sure, but I am. You are not into this. Something is wrong. I Putting my best foot forward, but the others keep insisting that I'm not. They said I'm not motivated, and that I'm not taking this seriously. I didn't think I was, but when I see the others, and how hard they're trying, I wonder. They're sweating bullets, they've got their eye on the prize, and they're full of motivation. It makes me wonder whether I even deserve to be here. I don't have the necessary determination to win, nor the courage to beat the others and claim the prize. Are you forgetting who you're teamed up with? Uh, <sighs> nice pep talk. I think it's best if I stop here. Ah, uh, shit. Are you serious? No, he didn't. I didn't. I didn't write. Uh, I take that. I take that back. <clears throat> Are you serious? Yes. But I paid for your guys' cosplay! You don't care about the prize? It's not that I don't want to win. It's that I'm not capable. I don't want to defeat others. I don't have it in me to win. To me, games are all about having fun. But here, people have to get hurt and be eliminated. If that- is that what this is all about this whole time? I'm just not built for this kind of competition. 
You're just not competitive in general. Huh? Personally, I think it's kind of strange that you say you don't know how to win. The only reason we're here is because we've been winning. Th th that That's only because you two have been doing so well. All I've done is drag you both down. Why would you think that? <sighs> now, in my mind, she is, but... You know, I'm gonna say something nice. I know that you injured yourself during the first game, Master. You're all bandaged up, but you're trying to hide it. What? What? How, how did you know? Were you peeking? You're using your shoulder less, and your clothes are bulkier than before. During the Whack-A-Mole game, my bizarre hang-ups negatively affected our team's performance. And it ended up being disrespectful to the opposing team. And now, if it hadn't been for me, we would have won and progressed to the next round. First, I spilled my coins everywhere. And then I went over to check on Folkwang in the middle of the game. The only reason we were able to tie is because you did your best. You never gave up during the entire round. That's right. There's no way we could have come as far as we have without you. I'm sorry. But that's just not true. I... I can't stand to see you two continue to suffer because of me. Well... Suffer? Really? You have it twisted, girl. We're... We're in it for the prize. Well, I think about the Made For You Cafe. Isn't this what this is all about? It's time that I drop out of this competition. Soda. You're reading this all wrong. Am I? Yes. We're going through this round again, but that's not because of you. It's because we're exerting every ounce of willpower we have to achieve our goals. That's right. I want to win. So I can get a photo with all the rabbits. To be fair, I can arrange that later. As for me, I want to win so that my favorite cafe doesn't go under. <sighs> what about you, Soda? Why are you here? Uh, I... I want to save the maid cafe as well. Yes. See? Focus on the prize and everything else will just fall into place. What if you quit now and the maid cafe ends up closing down? Huh? Th that's... <sighs> this could be your last chance. Mm. Well, okay, now I feel like I'm just putting more pressure on her. What do you care about more, the other teams here or the Mate Cafe? Do they matter more than Coco and... Or, sorry, Cocoa? <laughs> do they matter more than Coco and Aid? No! Absolutely not! Those two are my best friends! Even though I'm always making mistakes, they've always taken care of me. I could never compare them to anyone else. Hmm. Rupi told me that Coco and Aid are in the crowd today. Uh, really? They're here right now? Yes. Am I lying? Do you think they came all this way here to see you give up? Coco, Aid. You won't be going it alone. You'll be with two other teammates. But I don't have any other friends. <laughs> <laughs> that scene was funny. You yourself mentioned that we had nothing to lose by giving it a try. Didn't you? Y yeah, I did, but... We're sorry to dump all this into your lap. If it's all too overwhelming, you don't have to do it. <sighs> I... <sighs> Rabbity? It looks like she's really struggling. Maybe we should just... I... I'll do it. Huh? Yeah. Let's do it, Soda. Are you sure? Yes, Alice. Yes. Coco and Aid believe in me. I won't let them down. I promised them that I would try my best. <gasps> okay, don't, well, don't cry. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. All right. You're coming around now. At least... I have to prove to them that I've really tried. Woohoo! We're back in the game, baby! 
<laughs> that was pretty cute, Alice. I'll give it my A game as well. Yeah. Alice game. That's the spirit. Even if we lose, let's give them hell. All right. <sighs> All right. Next up, we have the much anticipated rematch between Team Soda and Team Hawkwing. Begin! Oh, wow. Right away. Do we get to play the minigame one more time? The horn signaling the beginning of the game blares. And both coins and eggs start falling from above us. <sighs> I'll take care of this side. All right. All right. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Soda's in it now. Soda gazes up upward with a look of steely determination and starts rapidly filling her basket with coins. Clank, clank. However, there is not much time left, and more eggs will be falling as well, so be careful! Both the coins and eggs start to fall with increasing speed. <gasps> Master, behind you! Huh! <laughs> Crack! <gasps> what? I got hit? An egg falls right behind, narrowly missing me. Okay. Alice. <laughs> and focus on avoiding the eggs. Got it! Hmm. Nice! Nice strategy! They seem in much better shape than they were before. Uh-oh, Falkwang, you're distracted. Think we ought to kick things up a notch? Good idea! I'll do my best to hide. <laughs> <sighs> oh, she slipped again. I was able to save most of the coins. Hmm. Watch out! Another egg is coming! Soda isn't coming over to check on me this time around. <laughs> it almost seems like uh like a uh, like she's mad or resentful. It's like, oh hmm. You cared about me before, but now you don't. Looks like the competition just got more cutthroat. Okay, Fulkway. Don't have time to mess around. Let's go get some more coins. Or was Folkwang trying to do that to bait Soda? Hmm. Who's the cutthroat one now, huh? Uh, Roger. Only five seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Everyone, please wait here while we assess the results. <sighs> That was exhausting. Wow. My entire body feels like a limp noodle. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like the other team gathered quite a bit of coins as well. I mean, Exia still wasn't really playing. Yeah, you're right. But that's not important. What's important is that we did our best. How are you feeling, Green Bunny? <sighs> I think this is the first time that I've really focused. Concentrating with every fiber of my being. I didn't waver. And I wasn't distracted by thinking about the other teams. I can honestly say that I did my best. Alright, you know what? Let's go. You did your best. And check it. I bet you we're gonna win and we didn't win because of some mishap. If it hadn't been for you, I would have gotten bonked by that egg and we would have been eliminated. And ended up dropping my basket while running. <laughs> if we win this time, it's all thanks to you. You mean I was able to help both of you? Yes, Soda. Then, do you really think we can win? Huh? You're sparkling again. Nice. All right, everyone. We have finished tallying up all your coins. Once Mustang begins speaking, everyone becomes silent. We look towards Mustang with a nervous anticipation. It took two showdowns to determine the winner, but at long last, we have unresolved that decisive. And the winner is... none other than... 
Let's f***ing go! <laughs> huh? Wow! We won? Did you hear that, you guys? They said we won! We did it, Soda! You can put away that psychotic, smiling expression forever! We won! Hooray! Both teams delivered remarkable performances! But unfortunately for Team Falkwang, this is the end of the line. This is the end of the Tetra line for you. And with that, our third game has come to a close. Nice. As always, the Eliminate team may choose to stay and spectate or leave the area. With tomorrow's game, we will officially be entering the semi-finals. Nice. So we got two more mini games. Team Soda and Team Volume. Make sure you're in fighting shape. Oh, we're going up against Prima Donna. Until next time, everyone. Have fun and enjoy yourselves. Badum badum badum. Oh boy, I'm drenched in sweat. Me too. We should get some rest. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Seeing how much the three of you are sweating makes me feel less bummed about losing. <laughs> She's fixated on sweat. <laughs> oh, Fulkwang. Are you okay? I saw you take another tumble earlier. I'm fine. I think I didn't have as much focus as I should have because I didn't take my supplements. Okay, girl. Oh, I see. I wanted to go and help you, but... Well... You know, sorry. What are you apologizing for? Huh? We're on opposing teams after all, and it was just a little fall. But I could have helped you. Instead, I pretended not to notice. <laughs> she makes that sound like a terrible character flaw. That's the nature of the game. You have nothing to apologize for. Uh, okay. Everyone seems to be saying the same thing. Ah, <sighs> dang. It feels like a thousand degrees in here. It's as if this is the first time Soda has ever played anything competitively. Uh, it's too bad that our best wasn't good enough. But at least we had fun. Folkwang extends her hand to Soda. What? Do you want to shake my hand? Sure, why not? You kicked butt out there and collected the most coins. You've got a keen eye, and you're a natural athlete. M me? Uh... Uh... Do you not want to shake my hand because my palms are sweaty? <laughs> These weak arms are heavy. This is starting to get a bit awkward, you know? Soda, freaking shake her hand! <laughs> no, it's not that. I'd be honored to shake your hand. <laughs> this, this, this girl's so awkward! Soda hurriedly shakes Folkwang's hand. But, can I ask you a question? Of course. But could you maybe let go of my hand first? <sighs> I'm sweating like crazy <laughs> over here. Oh, sure. Anyway, I noticed that Exia wasn't really participating in the game. Does that not bother you two? Hmm? I'm afraid there's an inaccuracy in that statement. Huh? It might look like she's just fooling around. But Exia was definitely playing right along with us. What? Hey, ease up with the wording, will ya? Was she cheating? No one said anything about fooling around. You mean she participated with you guys? That's right. Exia's mobility isn't the best. So if she had attempted to stumble around out in the open collecting coins, she would have gotten plastered with an egg and gotten us eliminated. Therefore... We had her hang out in safe spots, where she would be safe from getting hit. In other words, I contributed in my own unique fashion. There would have been no point for me to have been running around out there. You've got to play smarter, not harder. Ah, I see. Damn, I'm impressed. <sighs> anyway, I'm burning up in here. Can I go get some rest? Since we're no longer in the game, 
I'll be in your corner cheering you on. Nice. Same here. Anyway, the new game I've been playing probably has new updates. So I'm gonna go see if I can get on the leaderboards. I'm going to go snooping around for new cases. I can feel one brewing! After Folkman, Yanxia, and Novel disperse, Alice, Soda, and I stand around somewhat awkwardly for a moment. Should we go get a drink? Sounds good! Let's go! Alright! Inside Coin Rush's drink zone. <sighs> this drink is great! Can I have another one? Be my guest. Thanks! <laughs> I'll go and order some more. Swish. Alice skips merrily towards the bartender. <sighs> what are you thinking about now, Soda? Are you not a fan of the drink? Huh? Oh no! It's delicious! Sorry, I was just thinking about something else. What were you thinking about? <sighs> How we've been able to win all the games so far. Everyone has their own ways. Of playing the game. Rupee focused on showing her experience to her streaming audience. Milk just wanted to do her best. Exia contributed by not interfering with her other team members. That, that's right. And for the first time, I really competed. And we won. That tells me that our prior victories were largely based on luck. There's a saying that luck is also a skill. I know. But that means the competition wasn't balanced to begin with. If Ruby hadn't fallen, or if Mary hadn't gotten stuck in that opening, we would have been sent packing. I mean, true. But what does it matter if the third game we actually won fair and square with our own skill? In fact, it was your skill. It may have seemed like Exia wasn't doing anything, but in reality... She was doing her utmost to contribute in the best way she could. Her team members understood that as well. But me? I kept insisting that my head and heart were in the game. Yet, I kept avoiding it the entire time. Because I'm afraid of competition. I mean, if it's all about her, f uh, like an actual phobia against competition, then eh, that makes sense. Because I didn't want to hurt anyone. <sighs> but now I understand. The only way to win this kind of competition is to face your opponent head on and grant them no quarter. Yeah, girl, that's what I like to hear. Eye on the prize. Is that something you're able to accept? Yes, it's like you said. Protecting the maid cafe takes precedence over everything else. Also, I have you and Alice on my team. Yeah, that's right. We'll fight right alongside you. Yeah. That's great. <gasps> okay. Are you going to cry at the bar now? <laughs> oh my gosh. She, okay, she actually crying this time. Oh, girl. I'll buy you another drink. Soda, are you okay? Okay, fine. I'll admit it. Everything I did just before was a lie. Oh. The whole spiel about wanting to quit and not being 100% invested. What? I've always wanted to win. And I've never given anything less than my best. Why would I ever do anything less? I don't want to see the maid cafe disappear. I don't want to disappoint Kokoa and Aid either. It's just that this is my first time in a competition like this, and I didn't know what to do. But just because I'm determined to win, doesn't mean leaving others injured is okay with me. I wasn't determined enough. Instead, all I've done is complain. I'm sorry. Aww. <laughs> Can I give her a hug? <laughs> Don't cry! The sight of Soda sobbing uncontrollably makes me flustered. She's sobbing uncontrollably. Oh my gosh, you're getting the counter all wet, girl. I don't know how to respond. Suddenly, Alice approaches and embraces Soda tightly. Aw, 
She did the hugging for me. <laughs> Alice? <laughs> Can you imagine the sight of a hot girl in a bunny suit at a bar crying her eyes out? <laughs> I feel like I probably have seen that at the end of a con. That part of the night when cosplayers are still in cosplay for some reason and for some reason they're drunk and depressed. Yeah, that's what the scene is. That's it. Let your tears flow. Whenever I feel like crying, the queen tells me to just let it all out. Aww. That way you can feel some relief. This is a good pairing, Alice and Soda. I like them. They have a good dynamic. <laughs> oh, her crying, her crying uh, expression is so sad. <laughs> Oh, I want to pet her. You want to know something? <laughs> what? When we won today, that was the first time I've seen you truly happy. <laughs> it was? Yes. You should have seen how resplendent you were. You know what that tells me? That we should keep doing exactly what we're doing. I want to play more with you guys. And I want to keep seeing you shine. We've got a solid strategy now on how to win. Aw. I hope that after all of this is said and done that Alice goes and visits the maid cafe. Let's keep it up. Mm -hmm. Alright. I won't give up. Let's all do our best together. That's the spirit. Alice and I hug and comfort Soda. And after a while, her tears finally stopped. That was a touching scene. I mean, she was holding it all in earlier. And she had that psycho face. I think a good cry oftentimes is the most cathartic thing to have. Stack up soda. Oh, okay. Another day dawns and coin rush. Oh, we don't even have a scene where we go back to the hotel. Oh, okay, we're right here. <laughs> Once again, I feel the warm sunlight, the soft bed. And... Am I in the bed by myself? It's quiet. Too quiet. I tentatively get out of the bed. Soda slept in! Hey, that's character growth! That means she's not stressed anymore. Alice is sawing logs, which is nothing unusual. But Soda, who is typically up by now, is also fast asleep. I can't help but smile. I wish there was a picture of that for us to see. Uh, rabbity? Shh, quiet. Hmm? <gasps> Twinkling Bunny is still asleep. She must be tired from all the talking we did last night. Yeah, she got a good cry. We all stayed up pretty late. We did? I'm sure it also has to do with how she's finally let go of all that tension she was carrying. <laughs> she's snoring. We should try and be quiet when we're getting ready so as to not wake her. Good idea. I'm so sorry. Wait, we left her? I overslept and didn't get a chance to clean properly. Oh. It's okay. A good night's sleep is good for you. <laughs> I suppose you're right. It's as almost as if we were like drinking alcohol and she slept in because we drank too much. I do feel a bit more buoyant. Tap. Soda bounces here and there and ends up bumping into Volume, who is passing by. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder how this dynamic works. You all don't seem too nervous about it being the semifinals. I admire your confidence. Yes, noise. If I'm being honest, I didn't think you'd make it this far. Girl, oh! You know what, this is also why I don't have you as a unit, Arya. Honestly, neither did we. Wait, what? I don't want to say that. <sighs> Honestly, neither did we. If we beat Volume and her team here, we'll be able to compete against 777 in the final match. Just thinking about it puts me on edge. What do we have to be nervous about? We've got a surefire way to win, so it's okay. Hmm? What do we you mean? Wait, Alice, you said that in front of them? Ooh. 
Did you cheat and get a hint about the next game? Or are you just giving up? What? This is a reason why I don't use you in any of my teams. Other than the fact that you're not a good unit. No! We'll never give up. So please don't say something like that. Alright! Soda's standing up for herself! Nice! Huh? Alright. I get it now. Care to fill me in? I'm lost. Looks like we're about to start. Mustang is getting on stage. Let's go get ready. Wait, what's it all mean? <laughs> it's, volume is, is so thrown off by the confidence. Volume, noise, and Arya slowly approach the stage. <sighs> we ought to get going as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hey. Are you gonna keep ignoring me? Are you talking to me? What did she mean back there? She's probably referring to doing her best without being too concerned about the results. Those who aren't afraid of failure are the people you should be most afraid of. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. There were all these rumors that they were fighting amongst each other and were going to bow out. Rumors? Girl, are you spreading rumors about us? In fighting? That's strange. Did they see us at the bar and did they think that it was me and Alice who made Soda cry? I guess there wasn't much truth to that. Hmm. That tells me they didn't get this far on luck alone. We have nothing to worry about. Victory will be ours. Mm-hmm. That's your hubris. That's the hubris that's gonna lead to your downfall volume. Agree. Alright, let's go. Go to the field now. All right, so does team and volume are prepared. Oh, I want to see that. Okay, look at, look at, look at. If we win this time, we'll proceed to the finals. Woohoo, we'll be able to see white and black bunnies. I'll try not to let you all down. I'll give it my all as well. Moving. All right, hold on. Let's go you say hi to the, the to Wait, team Prima Donna. Right. Time to show them what we're made of. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Seems sarcastic. All right, time to play the mini game. That it is already the semi-finals! The team that wins this round will be able to compete against the 777 squad! Let's go. And if they manage to beat that squad, they'll be able to obtain this key! Now then, since you all have made it this far, perhaps you could all give us a little speech? Oh. Okay. The first team leader volume come to the stage. Sure. You're gonna smack talk. Come on, everybody. What's my name? Volume. 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 Oh dang, she has a crowd on her side. I knew I could count on my fans to show up for me. Don't worry, everyone. This other team is nothing but a stepping stone on our path to victory. Okay, girl. Them fighting words. The first place will belong to Prima Donna. In one smooth motion, Volume tosses the microphone into the air and then catches it again. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> it garners a resounding cheer from the crowd. Oh, nicely done, Volume! Now, from the opposing team, Soda, please come forward. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you know what? Soda can come up with something. Let's go. Let's see how she does. She is a maid at a maid cafe. She speaks to customers all the time. Come on, you have some charisma. Uh, okay. Good luck. <laughs> Alice, good luck. Don't be nervous. Soda nods confidently. Um, hello. I'm Soda, and I work at the maid cafe. I... I promise to do my best. And... Uh, Why is she smiling? Please be sure to visit the maid cafe if you ever have the time. Yeah, let's go. Give an ad, you know, name drop. Thank you. Oh, okay. She got cheers from the audience too. Soda steps down from the stage, blushing furiously. <sighs> How was I? I felt like an idiot out there. Not at all. You did great. Yeah. Can I come to the maid cafe sometime? 
Yeah, see, there you go. You and Master can come whenever you like. Ooh, exciting. They certainly look like they're having fun over there. They certainly seem like they aren't. <laughs> I feel like these three just don't like each other. They seem to be getting along like a house on fire. What is this? It's game time and you two are standing here fretting about nothing. We're in the big league now. We've got to focus. It's better than being too nervous, but... Okay! I think it's quite clear that both team leaders have their eyes on the prize. Yeah. Now, I will explain the rules of the upcoming game. Zing. What is that word? As Mustang Centaurian voice booms, something starts to descend from the ceiling. Huh? Whatever it is, it looks strange. These are our stunt wires. They'll be fixed to your shoulders and chest. And once we give the go ahead, you'll be able to float in the air. I assure you that it's perfectly more safe. No way! As you rise up in the air, gold bars will be given to you all from both sides. They're not terribly heavy, so fret not. <laughs> Probably not heavy for Nikkei's. Mustang produces a rather long gold bar. Don't tell me. For this game, you will wear the stunt wires and control your movements to ascend into the air and stack gold bars. <laughs> Naturally, more, these bars are not fashioned from genuine gold, so please resist the urge to pocket them. Ah. While there is no set time limit, each member of the team must at least put on the harness. Once all the gold bars have been given out, we will add up the amount each team has stacked in order to determine the winner. I should mention, however, that stacking bars is not autorisé while you are still ascending. Players must first reach a designated height before they stack any bars. <laughs> Does everyone understand? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Let's get this show on the road. It seems like we have to go kind of high. Seems kind of scary. Oh, Sorry. I'm, I'm a big fan of noise. So like just hearing her talk, I'm just like, oh, noise is talking. What order shall we go in? I'm not entirely sure I understand fully, but it seems like a lot of fun. <laughs> That's how she feels about every single mini game, and yet we win. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure I grasp it entirely myself. But I'll do what I can. What? Did you not hear the the super extended description that Mustang gives every time we have a mini game? As the semifinals commence, I find myself worrying about whether my shoulder will give me any trouble. Oh no, am I gonna be the weakest link? Let the game begin! Who will go first on each team? Oh no! Is this how you wear it? Uh oh, she doesn't like the harness. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a lot tighter than I thought it'd be. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Due to her inability to get accustomed to the wires, Alice ends up with a lower score than we hoped for. Oh. As I strap on the wires, the intense pain nearly renders me speechless. Damn. If I bounce up and down in this getup. I'll probably exacerbate my shoulder injury. Well, up I go. No, wait. Let me go now. What? I can see how badly your shoulder is hurting. But if I get up now, I won't have gained any points for us. It's okay. It's true that I decided to join the competition to save something I hold dear to me. But you and Alice are dear to me as well. I don't want either of you to overexert yourselves and end up getting hurt. Dang, she's gonna bring her A game. So, for the sake of you both, I've got to step up. You got this, Soda. Last call. I don't want to toss this all on Soda's lap. But if I insist on doing it, I may end up seriously injuring myself. 
I'm sorry to make you do this. Don't go overdoing it either. <laughs> Don't you worry. I won't overdo it, and I'm gonna win. Oh, okay. I like this tone from her. I'll give it my all. Soda walks over to me and carefully straps on the wires. <sighs> twinkling Bunny, are you okay? Oh, she's calling her Twinkling Bunny again. Wearing those was really painful for me. Really? They're Nike. It's not too bad. I'll be back in a minute. Zing. Having safely strapped herself in, Soda jumps up and soars through the air. I wish there was like an animation for this. Also, super dramatic music to go along with this scene. Oh, I'm playing, I'm playing! Uh... I don't understand how this works! Okay, I failed twice! We lost! Alright, one more time, one more time, one more time. Oh, you only have one tr one chance. Oh, I get it! Alright, we did it. Alright, Soda. Through the use of the stunt wires, Soda takes herself to greater and greater heights as she stacks gold bars. At several points, she is so high up that her head nearly hits the ceiling. Wow. She's so amazing. Oh. I was only in that thing for a few minutes and it hurt something fierce. Oh. I know, that's why I told her not to overdo it. Even from this distance, Soda's exhaustion is clearly visible. Slowly, less and less gold bars fall from the air. Until the very last one descends. Alright. That does it for Team Soda! Team Volume is still in the middle of their game! <gasps> so we'll have to wait on a moment. Soda, who is now hanging limply from the ceiling, slowly descends. <laughs> Thud. Wow! Okay! This is free to play, by the way. I love it. Soda! Twinkling Bunny! Look at her smile. <sighs> oh, she looks thoroughly satisfied. Ah, oh, I see. They got some Attack on Titan straps. Let's just say Alice probably isn't well suited for Shibari. Just putting that out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just got to lie down for a minute. <laughs> you earned it, girl. That was tough. The wires are so uncomfortable. Aww. <sighs> but again, she looks thoroughly satisfied with what she's done. Are you okay? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I just wanted to stack all the gold bars. I'm sorry. <sighs> what? Are you crying now? I told you not to overdo it. I did nothing of the sort. <laughs> okay, okay, relax. I just did my best. <sighs> Do you think we'll be able to win? You know what? I am actually pretty confident we will. To be honest, I lift my head and look at Volume's team. Their stack isn't as high as I expected it to be, but I didn't grab a single bar, so... I'm not sure. Do you think so? I finally found out what I had to do in order to win. It'd be too bad if we ended up losing. Hmm. Alright, we're about to find out. That concludes the game for Team Volume. Good job, everyone. What the? What kind of sadistic game is this? <laughs> oh yeah, they all had to wear straps. It's a good thing I stay as fit as I do. I never would have thought dangling from a rope would require so much core strength. That's true, actually. I know that they're trying to be safe, but those wires were ridiculously tight. So uncomfortable. I was thinking about incorporating some wire work for my next performance. But now I'm having my doubts about that. Hmm. <laughs> Makes me wonder if how Arya handled it, considering the kind of outfit she's in. We're all huffing and puffing after stacking a few bars each. So how did Soda manage to stack that much all on her own? 
What remarkable determination. Yeah. Is now really the time to be praising the competition? Yes. At any rate, it doesn't matter how well Soda did. I saw Manager give up earlier without stacking a single bar. We're clearly at an advantage. Hmm. I know Noise has a soft spot for the commander. Are you sure? They seem pretty exhausted over there. Are you feeling any better, Twinkling Bunny? Yeah. Much better after lying down and getting some rest. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed for making such a scene earlier. While all of us are catching our breath, Mustang returns with an air of ceremony. Okay. As expected of the semi-final, we have some result that's extraordinaire. Without further ado, I will announce the winning team who stacked the most gold balls. It's none other than... Come on, come on, come on, come on! I mean, I know, I know who's gonna win. <sighs> team Volume! What? What? We're out of the match already? Oh man, I could have stacked at least a few bars. Twinkling Bunny worked so hard for nothing. I knew I should have at least tried. Huh? No, I won't hear any of it. <laughs> okay, okay. You both did everything you could, so it's okay. Soda smiles gently, seemingly at peace with the results. Thanks to you two, I have a new. However. Team Value made on Grave Error! Oh, come on, Mustang! Don't do that! What? Oh, now they're gonna be really pissed. What is this? What mistake? Before we began the game, I stressed how no gold bars could be stacked while you were ascending. Oh, so they got disqualified. So another game where they get disqualified. Only once you had ascended to an appropriate height and stopped, could the game begin? However, oh, Volume started stacking the bars as soon as she come on and moving up as the wires. Ah, <laughs> get wrecked, Volume. Yeah, you deserve that shit. <laughs> I am right, no? Uh huh. Uh huh. Get wipe that smug face off your. <laughs> I. I did. Was that really part of the rules? Since when? Yes, it was. Mustang mentioned it at the very beginning. Yeah, pay attention. Then why the hell didn't you tell me during the game? I tried, but you couldn't hear me. How could I possibly hear you from that high up with you speaking so softly? I thought you were just cheering me on. The main point is that you should have listened closely to the rules from the beginning. Yeah, fight. Fight, 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 get wrecked, prima donna. Would you two lay off each other? Therefore, the four gold bars at volume lowered while ascending will be considered invalid. <sighs> Fine. Four bars shouldn't make a huge difference. With that factored in, the winner ended up winning a the considerable difference of two bars. Wow, soda stacked like crazy. Two bars? Oh, it can't be. Say exact. Team Soda is so winner. <laughs> Let's f***ing go. Okay, these are some weird ass rules, but still. Get wrecked, Prima Donna. I can't believe this. Mm hmm. Believe it, girl. Complete and utter defeat. Yeah. It's frustrating. But fair. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. We gave it our all, and we were outdone by the other team. It's as mm. simple as that. Yeah. No will Noise be cheering for us too? Come on, Noise. That's right. <sighs> Screw this. Volume storms <laughs> off enough. <laughs> and with Hubris. Today's game is terminated. As always, the eliminate team may choose to stay in 
dictate or leave the area. As for tomorrow, at this time, in this place, on this very stage, the match final will take place. Nice. If you want to own this key, you will have to come prepared. This goes for both the 777 squad and Team Soda. Maintainer, let's all have a good time on our final night here at Coin Rush. Oh, and don't forget. Entertainment! <laughs> yeah, entertainment. Look at that jiggle physics. Now that I think about it, if you're bent in that in that position, aren't your butt muscles like tensed up? Would they even jiggle? Master, Alice. Yeah, we did it, girls. We, we won! Yahoo! I finally get to see the white and black buddies up close! Nice. You both have done a heck of a great job. I hope Coco and Abe got to see me. Tomorrow is our last day here. And I already miss them both terribly. Dang, dude. Now that I think about it, we've been at that hotel for four days. I wonder how much a uh, stay like that would cost. I miss Queen, too. Aw. If anything, Ludmilla should be here. I predict they should, they'll should. they come through in the final. Whether we win or lose, let's try and have fun out there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I'm sorry for oh, interrupting hey, such a jovial conversation. <laughs> I, I think this skin is like fire. It's, it's too bad I don't use Mary. But I just wanted to say how interesting it was to see you all perform out there. Oh, thank you. I couldn't help but notice that you potentially exacerbated your shoulder injury, Commander. Oh no. I mean, do I have to go to the infirmary again? And likewise for you, Soda. I could tell your body was performing abnormally at some point. Oh. If it's not too much trouble, could you both accompany me to the infirmary? It shouldn't take long. Uh. Okay, come on, Soda, let's go. Huh? I'll come too! Before we had time to fully bask in our victory, we are whisked off by Mary. Hmm. Hmm? You're quite lucky. Your shoulder hasn't worsened much since I saw you last. I didn't actually participate in the last uh, thing. Phew! If you had gone ahead and partaken in that game, I guarantee your shoulder would have been out of commission for some time. I have Soda to thank for that. That's quite true. However, as a result, Soda's arm functions have decreased approximately by 16%. Oh, come on. A little repair, a little little medicine ought to help with that. It's not a problem. I can go to the repair center later. Right now, I've got to keep my mind on the next game. Are either of you in a lot of pain? Did you get hurt earlier? No, no. Not at all. Once I get some rest, I'll be right as rain. Are you sure? Of course! At any rate, I know you're both eager to prove yourselves in the finals. But, you don't want to end up injuring yourselves out there, right? No. Yeah. Got it. Make sure not to overdo it. I'll be watching you both from the sidelines. Alright. Okay. Good. She keeps that voice up the entire time. All right. Both of you, take this. Huh? Drugs. What is this? Vitamins and muscle relaxers. All these physical activities must have worn you out. And these will help with the exhaustion. I'll be cheering you both on. So good luck. M Mary! Thank you, Mary. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. We'll do our best to keep ourselves safe. I'm glad to hear it. If any of you experience any more problems, come and see me. Oh, yeah. We can worry about injuries later, once we win the final. After saying goodbye to Mary, we head back to the main hall at Coin Rush. Hey. Oh. 
Oh, look who's back after rushing off. <laughs> Come here for a moment. Okay. On the way, we run into volume. He seems to be waiting for us. <laughs> she got something to say? Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> what is this? You were so confident a while back. And now you're cowering like a mouse. I... I'm not scared. Yeah, you, you know what, Soda? Come on, you stood up for yourself last time. Don't let a volume bully you. It's just... I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You're not apologizing for winning or something stupid like that, are you? N no. Actually, to be honest, I saw you stacking the gold bars too early. And I was going to tell you, but... But you didn't because you in it to win it. I wanted to win. So I didn't say anything on purpose. Again, that's not a character flaw. That's just how games work. Huh? And? Huh? If I had told you, you could have won. Exactly. That's precisely why you didn't say anything. We're not little kids playing during recess here. You and I both know that. If you had made the same mistake, none of us would have said anything either. Right. See, that's the fundamental foundation of games. Like, again, if it was the other way around, they wouldn't have said shit either. Because we wanted to win. Oh, I see. It's like, it's like she's learning for the first time how games work. Thank you for understanding. It's not about being understanding. This is just how competition works. Anyway. I have to give it to you. You were pretty impressive out there. You think so? You seemed pretty peeved earlier. <laughs> Calling her out right now. Yeah, you know, what happened to the attitude that led you storming off? Huh? Yes, I was. But I was mad at myself. I saw how hard you were pushing yourself. But I figured we still had it in the bag since one of you essentially bowed out. Also, I was overconfident and made a stupid mistake. Anyway, you did an incredible job out there. You're not hurt, are you? I just saw you come from the infirmary. Oh no, we're fine. Okay, volume ain't so uh, bad. We just came to get some vitamins. Yeah, then that's good. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the finals. You better win for my sake. Go out there and be a winner. Volume offers her fist to Soda. Uh. <laughs> As if Soda knows what to do with that. Soda cautiously bumps her fist against Volume. Good luck. With that, Volume turns and walks away. And Soda watches her back speechless. Dang, we've got a whole bunch of people cheering for us. This is awesome. I understand it now. Like how competitions work? <laughs> Not that you hold any animosity towards anyone. It's about wanting to win fair and square. It was never about hurting others. What was I so afraid of all this time? It really is a phobia against competition. That's <laughs> that's the arc that you had to get over in order for us to win. Maybe you were afraid of being hated. Being hated? Maybe. Maybe I just didn't want to get hurt. <laughs> At any rate, I'm at peace with how these things work now. Finally. Alright, good for you, Soda. I'm glad you come to that realization. That's right. <laughs> anyway, since the finals are tomorrow, that means today is our last day at Coin Rush. Oh my gosh, you're right! Barn, that makes me feel sad. Oh, it's like the last day of a con. It'd be a bit disappointing to leave this place without having explored it more. Why don't we explore this place a bit? I love that! <laughs> Me too! Let's go then. All of us head up to the second floor. Ooh, who we're gonna see? Let's see! I'd like a glass of warm strawberry milk! Warm strawberry milk? Really? Alright, one strawberry milk. And for you, sir? Glass of cold water. Glass of cold water. And you? Hmm. <laughs> Whiskey on the rocks. I'd like... Two cups of milk coffee. Oh, milk's here. One for me, and one for her. 
Okay. He's she's back. Two cups of milk coffee. Got it. I'll have those ready for you shortly. <laughs> well, 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 look who's back. Milk flops down next to soda. <gasps> milk? Hey there. She sounds just like volume. Yes. Why are you acting so scared? Did I do something? N no, it's not that. It's just I feel bad. So Oh, <laughs> look how mad her expression is. <laughs> Good. You have a lot to be sorry about. What's the big idea? You knew how to play seriously all along. So how come you pulled your punches when you went up against me? <laughs> That's what she's offended about. Huh? I, I was doing my best when I was facing you too. It's just... At the time... I couldn't stand the idea of having to step on someone in order to progress. And has that changed? Yes. If you want to protect something, sometimes you have to give up something. That's the takeaway? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold the phone. That, I... <laughs> this is just a competition. No one is hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. She makes this sound so serious. Hmm. Like this is a battle royale or something. Here are your drinks. Enjoy. Thank you. I appreciate you ordering this for me, Milk. Sure. Slurp. How is it? Mm. Oh, she really enjoyed that. It's delicious. Not too bitter. Not too sweet. Incredibly smooth. Nice. Anybody who can appreciate a milk coffee can't be all that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you win milk over. I'll be honest with you. I was really struggling with the idea of being bested by you. However, seeing you out there today made me change my mind. You clearly know how to work hard, and you deserve to win. Aww, there you go. Oh. Next time, you and I ought to have a proper match together. As for now, <gasps> you've got to beat those bunnies. Even if you're pushed to the edge and you feel you've got nothing left to give, you can't give up. You got that? Yeah. Milk actually giving Soda a pep talk. I like this scene. Y yes. I understand. It was nice having a coffee with you. Oh, That's so wholesome. <laughs> See you around. My goodness. Oh, I mean, look at Soda. Now she's on cloud nine. That was so touching. <laughs> See? She felt that. It's nice that you two made up. <laughs> yeah. As touching a display as that was, I can't help but notice milk left without paying. <laughs> that was delicious. What should we do now? Hmm. Ah, oh, I know. Didn't they say we could replay the games we've played in the game zone? I'd love to go and check it out. Sure, that sounds fun. All right, let's head to the game zone. Her crop like this just really emphasizes her ass and the boob that we see. Another record. Wow, Exia. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> oh, you're unstoppable, Exia. Hey, move over. It's my turn now. What's everyone doing? Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi, Rupee. You startled me. Hmm. We had a fun time watching you all compete today. Especially you, Soda. You killed it out there. Totally. It's been a while since we've seen someone work up such a sweat. Even from a distance, I could feel how passionate you were. Oh, boy. Oh, look at all that praise you're getting, Soda. I'm not really sure how to respond to all these compliments. To say thank you. Hmm. I figured you were taking things seriously before this, but you always seemed to be holding back. Today was the first time I really felt that you gave it everything you had. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such boundless enthusiasm is guaranteed to be a hit amongst viewers. Tomorrow is the final match. People are wondering whether 777's winning streak is about to end. And it's got everyone excited. I also won the bet I had with Dora and Yan. Oh, nice. 
Yeah, this girl got some money because of us. Is anyone up for trying to break my winning streak? Oh, right! It was my turn. Actually, while you're all here, do you want to have a try? Sure! Is this the game that we played before? C can I try too? Of course! So they basically took the physical game out in the casino and just put it into an arcade. Alright, the kid gloves are coming off for this round. Seeing Alice and Soda have so much fun with the others brings a smile to my face. It really does! Soda has gone from crying about having no one to participate with her in the competition. It was, yeah, it was a pretty sad state. To being surrounded by friends who support her and lift her up. Even if we don't end up winning, this entire event will be an incredibly meaningful experience for Soda. Our last night at Coin Rush ends with shared laughter and camaraderie. I hope there's more graphic panels that they show. Some gratuitous, blatant graphic panels. Please. As the dawn of our last day at Coin Rush arrives, I once again feel the warm sunlight, soft you bed. You gotta scrub it like this if you want it to be clean. Oh, they're both awake, and she's showing Alice how to clean. Let me show you. Like this? Scrub, scrub! Damn! I'm gonna miss being in the hotel with these two. And the sound of Soda and Alice cleaning. I get out of bed and look towards the voices, only to find the two of them cleaning excitedly. Now, again, big question. Have they been in these bunny suits the entire time? Like, no change of clothes? Morning. Did you sleep well? Morning, Master. We didn't wake you, did we? Ah, it's fine, girls. No, it's fine. Okay, that's good. Thanks to Alice helping me out, we're nearly done cleaning. Isn't the whole place nice and shiny? Yes, it's immaculate. Well, what a compliment. I couldn't have done it without you, Alice. Aren't you too nervous? Nervous? About what? Oh, because today is our final match? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But having a nice cleaning session with Alice made me feel way less anxious. That's true. Yeah, me too. On top of that, we received a lot of encouragement yesterday. Besides, being nervous won't change anything. All I can do is put my trust in both of you. And have faith in myself that I'll do my best. Mm hmm You've come a long way, Soda. <laughs> okay. What do you say we get this final match over and done with? Alright. Okay. Also, look at this. I just noticed this. Look at Alice. So cute. Y'all ready? Ba-dum ba-dum ba-dum. Hey, Mustang. Today is the final match you have all been waiting for. Will the 777 squad's victory streak in the hill? Or will their undefeated march continue unabated? To answer that question, let's first present there the two teams who will be comprising this main event. First up, we have Team Soda. Yay! Soda! 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 Huh? All those people are shouting my name. You made it all the way to the end. It's only natural that you're popular with the crowd. You're amazing! You think about it. Yeah, they, they are the underdog. Because it's not like we've seen 777 do anything. Th thank you. And for the other team... We have last year's Tetra Golden Chip Showdown winner! It's the 777 Squad! Damn. I was hoping that she would be in a bunny suit. <laughs> nah, they're still hot though. Long, no more! Long, no more! <laughs> no rouge. As expected, they're incredibly popular. Hello everyone! Even though it's only been a few days, we missed you all so much. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your support. We'll be sure not to disappoint you. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <laughs> She's freaking out. The white and black bunnies! They're even more breathtaking up close. 
<laughs> We've got to win first place so that I can get a picture with them. We will. We've got to win so that I can save the maid cafe. We have to. Now, permit them all to introduce the final. Permit them all. Snap. Mustang snaps his fingers, and the three long ropes start descending from the ceiling. Ropes? I anxiously wait for Mustang's explanation, desperately hoping that the game won't be too physically demanding. This game is pretty simple. At the top of the ropes, there's a key which unlocks the display. Whoever climbs up the rope and obtains the key first is the winner. Is it one-on-one? -on -one? However... Climbing up an ordinary rope wouldn't be any fun, would it? Therefore, the ropes have been slathered with some slippery material at certain segments. <laughs> and you're saying that this competition isn't going to be dangerous? One error, and you may slip and fall. As a result, this is a trade to facilitate games that will require both endurance and mental fortitude. Oh, this is going to be nice on my shoulder. I have a question. Will all three team members be climbing up together? No. Each team will select one member to climb zero. You cannot switch team members midway. So think hard about who you will It choose. is one on one. So one person has to climb all the way up. It's uh, awfully high up. Oh boy, I'm so lucky. How do you figure? Oh, she's like, I'm gonna f***ing climb that shit. Ah, you've still got pain in your shoulder. Oh, okay, so you're lucky because of that? Climbing up that high won't be easy for Alice. So I'll do it. Oh. But you carried us in the last game. <laughs> Spoken like a true gamer. Aren't you still tired? Right, you may have pushed yourself too far with this. Master, you know as well as I do, there's no way you can climb to the top. Yeah, that's true. Not in your condition. And uh, again, I'm not a Nikkei. That's true. And you, Alice. Do you think you can slink up that entire rope? Keep in mind that there are several slippery sections. Hmm... I'm not sure. Exactly! I'm confident that I can do this. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. She's got this. I can make it to the top. I know it. Twinkling bunny. And besides, I'm still the team leader. You know what's gonna be tough? How is she gonna climb that rope and have and not have that top fall off? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is my responsibility. So please, let me do this. All right, Soda, you got this. Soda's eyes are brimming with determination. It sounds like you've made up your mind. We'll do as you say, team leader. Just don't get hurt. Winning isn't everything. <laughs> oh, Alice, look at her. Look how concerned she is. I'm happy with getting a photo of me and you two instead. Oh, Alice! You can't sacrifice that photo with the two bunnies. So please, don't hurt yourself. I won't. I mean, she can still get that All photo. Right. <gasps> She's going up against Blanc? Interesting. Damn. Noir and Rouge didn't even have to do anything. Like, why even form a team? <laughs> it looks like Soda and Blanc are the ones who have been chosen. Oh, this is... Uh, oh well obviously i'm gonna root for soda but i don't want to root against my girl blanc but then again they are they have been lucky so they've been cheating this whole time so yeah i would like to knock them down a peg or two hello blanc i know i still have plenty to learn but i'm in this to win it i'm looking forward to competing with you oh how cordial and nice me too soda ah uh, you know what this is actually an appropriate final round by the way happy <laughs> i am oh such a big difference from the from the ending of part one it's a good feeling when people trust and care about you you bet it is we're in for a tough challenge with this game if each of you could please grab the rope ready already already let's go, Set. go! 
Oh shoot. On Mustang signal, the two Nikis rapidly start clambering up the ropes. Wow. All right, how does this work? So the, does that mean that they're hopping between ropes? Dang, I wonder how fast this gets when you play it in challenge mode. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yo, where are we? What is this? You're pretty good. Climbing ropes and poles is part of my profession, so I'm used to it. Oh, okay, okay, a little bit, a little bit of not. It's not a smack talk per se. Hmm. But where are we? I imagine this must be a bit tougher for you, though. <sighs> are they saying this while climbing? Yes, it's not easy. But I made a promise to myself and others that I'd reach the top, no matter what. Soda and Blanc reach the top at the exact same moment. Initiating a standoff with the key between them. <sighs> Are they like, is the key like right in the middle and they're ready to like grab it? I've been meaning to ask you something. If you win, what are you going to ask the boss for? I was going to ask him to save the maid cafe. I see. So that's why you've been pushing yourself so hard. To be honest, I don't really have a wish that I want to make. You need this victory way more than I do. Wait, are you just gonna give it up? <sighs> are you trying to provoke me? Oh, she's full com competitive mode right now. You could say that. <laughs> Look at she she has the pouting expression. <sighs> For someone who says they don't care that much, how come you're trying so hard? Nothing you say will provoke me. Oh yeah? Oh. It's getting a little spicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now she's mad. <sighs> The two glare intently at each other, and then leap for the key at the exact same moment. Yeah. All right, pocket sand, go, soda. <laughs> Play dirty. Clang. The key jostles in between both their hands and flies away. Are they wrestling each other for the key? <gasps> it proceeds to fall straight to the ground. The key fell down. Oh no. What do we do now? What? Hey. Wait! <laughs> While well, he stands there questioning it, Soda's like already diving down. It's been a while since Blanc and Soda climbed up to the top, but there's still si no sign of them coming back down. Oh, okay, so basically we're down here. They climbed up to the top of the roof, but I guess it's like dark up there, so we don't even see what's going on. What could be happening up there? Twinkling bunny. Suddenly, Clang. A golden key tumbles down from above. At the very same moment, Soda starts rampling down the rope at incredible speed. Hey, wait! She could just slide down. The rope will be slippery! Blanc, not knowing what else to do, desperately starts sliding down the same rope Soda is going down. As she glides down the rope at top speed, Soda desperately reaches for the key. I can reach it! Soda, if you don't stop now, you'll be in danger! You're going too fast! Get yourself tangled in the rope to slow down! Noir? I'll be there at the bottom to catch you! Hurry! Alright! Blanc makes a move and... I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> nice. There. The full screen. I knew they had one more in them. <laughs> look at Soda, look how beat up she is. Ropes, bunny girls, th somehow they made it happen. I didn't think they were going to make it happen, but they made it happen. Uh, 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 Noir, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. How about you? Oh. I'm fine, thanks to you. Soda, are you okay? I yes. I'm okay. <laughs> look at look at her anime deflated face. <sighs> I'm glad. Oh wait, ain't got another graphic with their eyes open. Why is her fist 
empty. Look how sad she is now. Soda looks down at one of her fists, which is tightly clenched, and slowly opens it. Huh? Where's the key? Forget about the key. Can someone come and untie us? I'll help. Me too. The other team members approach and start untying the tangled rope. Finally, I'm free. Thanks, everyone. <sighs> Thank you. That brings our final game to a close! Both teams did a stupendous job! <laughs> Although the last part was a bit chaotic, the coin rush competition ended without any injuries. Alright, so what happened? Where's the key? Soda and Blanc, come forward. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Neither of you were able to recuperate the key, correct? Unfortunately, no. That's right. Normalement, we would proceed with a rematch. Soda. Yes? In order to try and obtain the key, you put yourself and others at grand risks. <gasps> would you agree? Oh no! Is this gonna be held against her? Okay, now she's too competitive? Yes, I agree. Why, may I ask, did you act so recklessly? <sighs> because I was desperate. I was so consumed by the desire to grab the key that I didn't fully realize how much danger I was putting myself and everyone else in. I... I'm really sorry. Oh no, now she's crying. Wait, so it's like a back and forth with the lessons that she's learning. Okay, now she was af she was afraid of being competitive. Now she's she was too competitive, and now she's like, oh my gosh. Fortunately, no one was injured. However, it is true that what you did was <gasps> inexcusable, man. Oh no! Therefore, Team Soda <gasps> will be disqualified. What the? F Oh, come on, Mustang! I understand. You put them in that situation with the, st the stupid setup. Soda. <gasps> However... Oh my gosh, Mustang did it again. I hate, I hate him. Your determination, effort, and desperation were admirable. Huh? So, do not let this discourage you. I'm confident you have a brilliant future ahead of you! Oh, those are con <laughs> words of consolation. And I thank you sincerely for treating us to such a remarkable match! <sighs> thank you for saying that. <sighs> With that being said, the winning team this year is... Ah, oh, man! Was that always in script? 777 still wins because of their luck. The 777 squad once again! Ah! Man, not gonna lie, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I like them, but still, come on! Ooh, Blanc, could we hear a few words from you? Sure. Hmm. I must admit that it was through sheer luck that we won this year, which makes me uneasy. In terms of determination, effort, and desire, Soda beat us hands down. I'm looking forward to having a proper match with her in the future. Okay. Blanca reaches out her hand towards Soda. As am I. Thank you. Soda seems slightly taken aback, but quickly reaches out to shake Blanc's hand. Okay. What a beautiful ending! Aw, I was hoping that Ludmilla, uh, Aid, and Coco would have come to watch. All right then. I believe we can conclude the event. <laughs> uh oh, cut off, cut off. Just a moment. If you would, boss. I have a favor to ask. Soda whispers something quietly into Mustang's ear. Is this about the photo? Oh, now that would truly be the perfect ending. Splendid! 
Before we wrap things up, I shall grant soda on Petit Fabio and proceed with a photo opportunity. <laughs> photo opportunity. Funny girls. <laughs> Aww. If all the bunny girls could please come up. Gravity. I. I. Oh, hey, you know what? Alice gets what she wanted. In in my eyes, she's the true winner. Because she actually won what she came for. Go on up, Alice. Yahoo! He'll be right back. May I join? <gasps> yes! Oh, it's perfect! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm happy with this ending now. Look at this. Although, why is Ruby up front? Of course. Look how look how happy Alice is. Aw, she got her wish. Should we gather a little closer? <sighs> it's hot squished together like this. Ooh. Sorry to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> it's okay. It's worth it for a commemorative photo. Wasn't this something you had been wanting for a while, Alice? You bet it was! Oh, she's at, she now she's on cloud nine. This was what I was gonna wish for if we won. Thank you all for helping make this happen. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Do you see that, Lupins? Oh, now we focus on Rupee. There you go. I'm here with all the bunny girls from Coin Rush. Aren't they all so pretty? Nice. To everyone in the audience, feel free to take photos as well. Oh, full coins cut off. All right, everyone. Look over in that direction. One, two, three. The 777 squad came out on top yet again. And we ended up being disqualified. Damn! However. <laughs> I'm so happy. I totally feel like a winner. Alice looks even happier than the victorious 777 squad. That was one heck of a finale. Don't let that whole disqualified business get you down. What matters is that you never give up. Absolutely. There's no way I could have been able to go as far as you did. Oh, you've got some real physical strength. How Aww. about you and I work up a sweat sometime? Ho 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 ho! Okay, Fogwang. Easy. Mind the wording there, dude. You're not even moving around anymore, and you're still sweating. Anyway. You're officially invited to my next concert, so be sure to come and check it out. Oh yeah, let's go, Soda. Look, you have so many friends now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for the encouragement. How's your arm doing, Soda? I presume you can barely lift it up now. Uh, that's what I thought. You should come to the hospital tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Oh. Okay, understood. Not even the infirmary. Straight to the hospital. Hey, what are you two talking about? Let us in on the conversation. No. You know what? You two got to sit out the entire tournament. You come in, you win out of pure luck because you guys have superpowers. You guys don't get to just walk up here and talk to us like you are part of us. Soda is being showered with love and attention from everyone. Oh, look how happy she is. There wasn't a single moment through this entire experience where we didn't give it our all, and we've grown a lot because of it. It's in knowing this that we're able to leave this place with smiles on our faces. <sighs> it's so hard saying goodbye to everyone. Oh, I know. Dang, I feel like we've been doing this for a while. You did well, Sawada. <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, well, of course. Everyone said so many nice things to me. I can't believe it. Oh boy. I didn't realize how late in the day it was. We should probably head back. Head back where? Soda abruptly brushes past Alice and I, avoiding eye contact. She does so. She seems oddly eager to leave. Soda, wait! Yes? Once Soda looks up at me, I can see her eyes are welling up with tears. Oh, I think it's starting to hit her now. I, 
I'm overcome by a sudden sadness and lean in for a hug. Finally! <laughs> oh, think about how, how much we've gone through. This is well deserved. I, you know what? It's touching. What? Master? You really did magnificently. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Thank you so much, Twinkling Bunny. I had the time of my life playing with you. And I'll never forget that photo we took together. Uh -huh. No, really. You two deserve more. More praise than... Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh she's crying again. <sighs> Twinkling bunny. I did my best. Good oh no! Oh no! Soda! Come on! Oh. We even got disqualified. I thought for sure. Oh, it's so sad. I, you know. Oh. I had grabbed the key. If only I had reached a little further, things might have been different. No. That's not it. Rather, I shouldn't have pushed myself so hard. Then we would have at least had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> now what are we gonna do? Is the maid cafe going to have to close down? Oh, she's so sad. Don't worry, Soda. We'll do whatever we can to help. Queen and I will visit you all the time. And bunches of food. <laughs> Alice. Oh, yeah. Look at her. She's in full support. I'm sure we'll think of something. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> you know, now I think about it. What do you even know what Blanc was gonna wish for? You two are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hand it to um, Soda's voice actress. She's been doing a really good job. I hold Soda for a long time while she sobs. Only when it becomes dark is she able to calm down. Ugh. My eyes must be so swollen. Feeling better now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, get that, get a good cry on, you I know? I think I got it all out. Thank you again. Aw. Both of you. Even though we didn't win. I think we gained so much more. Yeah, yeah, that's exact. That's right, Soda. Me too. I got a photo. Oh, Alice. I've got you to thank for she's, that. She's she's so innocent. <laughs> it was my pleasure. Oh right, Twinkling Bunny. You mentioned that your friends were here. Are they also rabbits? Huh? My friends? Yeah. If they're rabbits, I'd love to get a photo with them. Uh... <laughs> no, they're better. They're maids. Oh, do you mean Coco and Aid? Ruby told me Coco and Aid are in the crowd today. <gasps> really? They're here right now? Oh, so this is a flashback. Yes. Do you think they came all this way to see you give up? Coco, Aid. Uh. This is bad. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Is it because I lied? I'm going to be exposed for the lie I told to keep Soda's head in the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not rabbits. And they're not here right now anyway. Hmm? Oh, really? But Rabbity said... I'm sure that they're here in spirit. Did you know? Of course. I knew everyone would be too busy working at the cafe to come see me play here. I will admit that I did look around the crowd once or twice just to be sure. Needless to say, they weren't there. Aww. <laughs> I knew it! I'm a liar. I'm sorry I lied to you. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. You said all that, and it made me understand the reason why I came here. Understand what was precious to me. I'm very thankful for what you did. Uh, uh, I'm glad. 
Well, shall we head back? Yeah. The queen must be really lonely by now. I can't wait to tell her everything that happened. She should have been in the crowd. And she should have been in her winter outfit. I'm sure she'll enjoy hearing you recount it. What? What? Oh, now she's clumsy again? Oh, I fell. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go, everyone. All three of us hold hands and head out of Coin Rush with clear minds and happy hearts. Golden Coin Rush, the end. What? Damn. Already? It better have a banger epilogue. Holy crap. Oh, look. Moving. Hold on, I'm zooming in, I'm zooming in. Oh, look at the doing little poses! And there's Mustang. I hope that they explain what happens to the maid cafe. You know, Soda's probably gonna be in back in her maid outfit. It'd be really cool if all the people in this event all go to the maid cafe and support it. I think that would be a great ending. I will commend them. Like, they could have easily just had Soda win. But of course, like, this is kind of her the way that Nikkei does their stories, they never really give that happy ending. That's always kind of bittersweet and or there's there's or it's laced with irony. That's usually the case. I think it makes for much a more mature storytelling rather than just having it be a clear good and evil or to have it be a clear happy ending for like these types Moving. of stories. So cool. That was a good one. That was a good one. I really enjoyed that. I'm um, being calm, you know, to sort of just process the game information as as best you can without being nervous because whenever you're nervous that's when you start making up like simple mistakes ah f like that 